Hello everyone, it's Benny, and I know I haven't made a video in two months, and I'm going to make a video discussing all that later. So if you have any questions about me, or what I'm going to be doing, or what I'm still going to be doing, or anything that's pretty much not about the computer I'm going to show in this video, save it till then. Other than that, welcome to this interesting little redstone computer I made. I decided that I was going to remake my original redstone computer. Well, the one I did that tutorial on is oh so long ago, the Building a Minecraft Computer Tutorial one. I decided I'd sort of make my own updated take on it, just for fun. And I thought I'd share the result with you. Because here it is. The result is Ye Old Clunker, a redstone computer. And let's go ahead and start showing some stuff off. Why not? So I'm going to go ahead and First off, you want to select which program you want to use. I'm just going to use Program 0, which is an addition program. And let's do 5 plus 3, because I love adding those numbers for some unknown reason. And let's run. So, doo -doo -doo. and there we go. It's 8. And this is using pretty much the same architecture as the older computer I made, the one I made in that tutorial. It's using the pretty much the same branching system. It's, I'm using different designs for things, but I mean, other than that, it's the same thing. It's got the adder subtractor going into the four registers, and then back again has the input registers. Those are, well, okay, they're a fair bit different. <laughs> I was going to say they're the same, but yeah. And yeah. And really the big thing I changed over the that uh, other computer is, well, other than the fact that it's a little bit more faster, even though it's still an old clunker, the big thing I changed is it's just, you know, more more updated. It's modern and it has... Oh, of course. <laughs> Can't believe I completely forgot what I was going to say. No. The big difference is you can select different programs. So I'm going to select program t 2. I believe this is a subtraction program. So let's do 5 minus 3. This might actually not be a subtraction program. So we're all in for a surprise. Let's see what happens. Okay, it is a subtraction program. Awesome. Okay, it's just I programmed this thing a while ago, so yeah. And why not? I'll show off program 3. This is a counter program. I completely forgot how this works, but hey, we're about to see what happens. So basically it counts up really slowly. I, I believe... Yeah, I'm really not sure. <laughs> I'm sure I remember how this works. I think it's adding 5 every time. I think. I could be completely wrong about that. Okay, yeah, it is. It's just for some reason completely screwed up that time. I blame pistons. Pistons are always a problem in these things. It's one of the big reasons why I didn't use pistons in my original tutorial. So yeah. And why not? I'll show off program 1, which is a memory clear program. It completely clears the outputs. So yeah, there you go. It's Ye old Clunker. A new take on an old computer. And the other thing I thought I might show off is the program memory, because this is actually drastically different from the way I did it in the old computer. In the old computer, I had the instructions pretty much... well, I say instructions. I had a bunch of wires, more like it, laid out, and you could pretty much manually control every single possible painstakingly simple, you know... You get the idea. You can just control every painful detail of the computer. And that just wasn't necessary when you wanted to program it. So, I made it drastically simpler. There's four things a computer can do. You can either save something as input A, save something as input B, add, or subtract. That's it. That's all you can do in the instruction. And it's made it so much simpler. So yeah, you select one of those four functions, you select some register or user input to do it with, and boom, that's it. That's all an instruction is in this computer. And yeah, it's really straightforward. And so yeah, it, it's believe me, it's so much easier to program the computer like this. I almost wish I did it that way. I almost do. It did add a little bit of hardware complexity, because you see there's sort of this sort of decoder section over here, which is little bit nasty, but, you know, it makes life programming this thing so much easier. 
And here is my favorite part of the entire computer. The clock. And you might be wondering, hey Benny, why on earth do you like this simple circuit so much better than this ridiculous pile of redstone lying behind you? And here's why. Let's count how many ticks this clock is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ticks. Although it's actually only sending a pulse every 12 ticks because I'm dividing the signal. Why? I don't know. I'm ridiculous like that. Deal with it. Anyways, point is, this clock is sending a pulse every 12 ticks to the computer. This is a computer is effectively running on a 12 tick clock. And you might be thinking, Wow, that's actually kind of fast. How did you get this old clunker computer that you built a year ago running anywhere near that speed? And this is why I love it so much. It is not fast. This thing is slow. This is slower than the Red Game 3, which everyone thinks is so slow and horrible for some godforsaken reason. Point being, it's slow. <laughs> And, even though it's on a 12 tick clock, you might be wondering, well, Benny, why, how, what, what is going on? How can a computer running on a 12 tick clock be slow? Simple. It's doing some, almost nothing every clock cycle. One cycle s takes data from, say, right here, and saves it right here. Ooh, I know. You have no idea how anyone could do that in 12 ticks. That's super impressive stuff. Yeah, that's literally all it takes to load an input, and that's half of the instructions the computer does. In fact, this is probably even more common than addition and subtraction, because you have to load for every time. So, yeah, it's do load, wait 9 ticks, load again, wait 9 ticks, actually do some operations, and then go back to loading data. Yeah, the speed, believe me, is not that impressive. It's... It's, it's more accurate to say this thing... Well, no, it does run on a 12 tick clock. It's not inaccurate whatsoever. But that's why I love it so much. The clock speed is not the determining factor of how fast your computer is. And believe me, I'm going to be talking all about how that's the case in a certain advanced computer tutorial. So yeah, thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned, and see you next time.